Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is uh, heart inflammation or medically known as uh, myocard myocarditis. You know. Uh, but before starting this discussion, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Uh, now first of all, we need to know what is myocarditis. Now, myocarditis is the inflammation of the heart muscle, myocardium. Now the inflammation of the heart muscle causes degeneration or death of the heart muscle cells. And, uh, it has many different causes and result in a range of outcomes from the mild to rapidly progressive uh, fatal disease. Uh, myocarditis is uh, differentiated from the pericarditis because pericarditis is the inflammation of the sac that surrounds the heart and does not involve the heart muscle uh, like myocarditis. You know. And it's not unusual to have the patient present with both uh, pericarditis and uh, myocarditis. There are many different types of myocarditis and wide range of possible agents that can trigger the disease. For example, viral, uh, bacterial, or it could be fungal or parasites, you know, or, uh, lymphocytic, you know, uh, eosinophilic, and uh, autoimmune, and uh, uh, fulminant, you know, or idiopathic, or acute, or chronic, you know. Now, what do you know? The viral, uh, like, uh, uh, enterovirus or uh, adenovirus or influenza and uh, other may cause this one you know and uh, the bacterial like uh, streptococci, meningococci and uh, uh, clostridia you know so these are the different bacteria that can cause the myocarditis so and uh, fungal infections like uh, uh, candida or uh, cryptococcus and uh, malaria you know and uh, toxoplasma and other effects you know. Now the lymphocystic uh, myocarditis is the heart muscle infiltrated with uh, lymphocytes you know and eosinophilic uh, uh, myocarditis is the heart muscle infil uh, infiltrated with uh, eosinophils and autoimmune that is caused by the autoimmune disease such as lupus you know and uh, fulminant which is an inflammatory process in uh, uh, the heart muscle that leads to the acute uh, uh, severe heart failure or idiopathic which means there is a heart muscle uh, with no cause you know and acute or the chronic you know. The next thing is what are the causes of myocarditis? Now the causative agents that damage the myocardium include like uh, uh, cytotoxic effects of the infecting agents like viruses, bacteria, fungi and parasites you know, are the immune response triggered by the infected uh, uh, infecting agents and the <coughs> cytokines uh, produced in the myocardium in response to the infection or the inflammation you know and the chemicals released uh, during the myocardial cell death you know are autoimmune responses you know and uh, certain diseases like lupus and uh, other diseases so these are the common causes. Uh, now, what are the symptoms of the myocarditis? Now, myocarditis can be mild and cause virtually no noticeable symptoms. And uh, the most frequent symptoms of the myocarditis uh, is the pain in the chest. And the other symptoms may include like uh, shortness of breath, swelling, or the edema, of, uh, liver congestion. You know and uh, abnormal heartbeat like palpitations or uh, sudden death or fever or malaise or poor appetite abdominal pain and uh, chronic cough or increasing difficulty in breathing you know fever rash diarrhea so these are the multiple uh, the symptoms of the myocarditis the next thing is how your doctor will diagnose that you have myocarditis now, myocarditis is primarily diagnosed by detecting the signs of irritation of the heart muscle during the patient's history and physical examination. And then your doctor will uh, advise the uh, blood test, you know, like heart muscle enzymes, you know, and which can be elevated, you know, or the electrical testing like EKG, you know, and uh, like uh, then 
if the specs you made by the ultrasonography or the MRI or the echocardiogram, you know, or uh, if needed, you need doctor, your doctor may order the uh, cardiac catheterization to know the uh, heart condition, you know. So these are the multiple tests used to diagnose the myocarditis. Now once diagnosed, the next thing is what are the treatment options? Now, the myocarditis improves on its own without uh, treatment, with the complete recovery. And sometimes the treatment uh, uh, required to treat the underlying cause, like uh, viral or bacterial infection, you know. And the diagnosis of the precise underlying cause of the myocarditis can help in the optimal choice of treatment. Now, in patients with more prolonged or the more severe causes of myocarditis, individuals may need more specific medications or even a hospitalization sometimes, you know. And the medications to reduce the heart workload or to reduce the edema are the commonly used to treat the symptom of the myocarditis. And these may include like Lasix or uh, Captopril, you know, or uh, the multiple is, the, is the, like uh, uh, Lepressor, you know or LTS, you know, Zestrel, or Prinville, you know. So these are the different medications used for the treatment of the myocarditis. In fact, the many uh, symptoms of the cardiac, uh, myocarditis, you know. Uh, prognosis for the patients with acute myocarditis uh, who rapidly recover is very good. And uh, uh, even the patients that develop uh, severe myocarditis can completely recover with uh, mild or no complications. Uh, but if the damage to the heart become muscles become chronic, uh, then the prognosis will be slow, you know, and the chances are declined. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you know, need more information about the myocarditis or any other information of the heart or any other heart disease or any other medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.